Hello, I'm Atuba Judge. Now, listen to me. I'm speaking to someone right now. You are supposed to get married very soon. But for some reason, fear came into your heart. And you are really scared right now. You, you, not, not scared about the person. This is your fear. You are scared if you are able, are going to be able to handle this marriage situation. The fear, you know, you, you are just scared that I hope this marriage is going to last. I hope I'm going to be a, a good husband. That, that's a fear. I'm talking to a man. That's a fear that is coming on you right now. And you're getting confused already concerning this. Now, here's what the Lord is saying to you. See, he said he will be with you. See, in that marriage, he is going to be with you. And listen, he is with you to always instruct you on what you should do. Praise God. Get out of that fear place. And I accept what the Lord has said to you. And say, Lord, thank you for your presence in my life and your presence with me. I'm taking this step with boldness because you are with me. Praise God. And, and go in and have your wonderful celebration and have a wonderful marriage. Praise God. Listen, it's very simple. Very simple. He is with you. <laughs> And that's what solves every problem. Ah, I, I wish, you know, you see, sometimes the reality of this thing is what the problem is with many believers. Is God with you? Of course, is God is with me. Okay, hold on. Are you confident that He is with you? And you know, sometimes you may not feel like it. Uh -uh, that's not what we're talking about. Are you confident? See. You know, the Lord began to talk to, talk, to, talk to me and talk to us about confidence. You know, sometime last week or two weeks ago. And he began to say, in this season, he wants us to be courageous. Courageous about what? About our lives, about our work with him, about everything we do. Now, that's why the scriptures, Daniel tells us, the people who know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploits. Who? The people who know their God. So what builds your confidence is in the knowledge of the Lord that you have. What, what tells you tomorrow is going to be fine? You know, I love the story of Daniel. See, now the king, King Nebuchadnezzar had said, look, he gathered all his wise men together and said, look, I'm going to catch all of you today. You know, when I tell you dream, you give me all kind of interpretation. I will have to accept it. Today, I will catch you. I had a dream last night. I'm not going to tell you the dream. So you go consult with whoever you're consulting. Tell me the dream and tell me the interpretation. If you can't, I will kill all of you. And there was panic in the land. Now, they came to get Daniel and his friends. And they were going to kill them because the king's word has gone out already. What did Daniel do? Daniel told the man, you know what? Can you give us till tomorrow? We will come up with an answer. What confidence? I mean, they, they, he, and he wasn't thinking, give me till tomorrow. And then he goes back to his friends and says, guys, let's plot how we're going to escape. No, he said, tomorrow we will give you an answer. And the next day came, he, they had the answer. And what did they do? They went before the Lord. That's confidence. So when they said tomorrow, you know, I, I, I want you to picture this. They hadn't gotten, they hadn't heard this thing before. They hadn't even heard from the Lord concerning it. But when they saw death coming against them, so what's the problem? The king wants an answer. All right. Tell the king, tomorrow we'll give him his answer. Just hold on. Don't kill anybody tonight. Tomorrow we'll have the answer. That's confidence. That's courage. Praise God. And that's what the Lord wants us to walk in, in this season. Everything we face, be courageous. You're getting into marriage, be courageous. What's going to give you that courage? The knowledge of God being with you. Am I going to, I'm going to pay, be able to pay our children's school fees next time? Be courageous. Why? Listen, 
the Lord is going to tell us what to do and he's going to provide the money for it. That's all that matters. But, but, but we just lost our jobs. No problem. Before the school reopens, the Lord is going to tell us what to do and the money is going to come. All the Lord's going to provide them. Whichever way, we will pay and we will not owe. What about this bill? What about the rent? What about this? The Lord is going to tell us what to do. And then you go to sleep. You don't say that and you start getting worried. Don't act like Peter. You know, the Lord opened my understanding to see this. Jesus was walking on the water. And Peter said, Lord, if you're the one, ask me to come. And the Lord said, come. And Peter believed the Lord. And he began to walk on the water. Now, imagine you are watching this happen before your eyes. And then you see Peter saying, Lord, ask me to come. And the Lord said, come. And you see Peter step out of the boat and began to walk on the water. And then you're watching Peter and say, wow, wonderful, wonderful. And then suddenly you see Peter sinking. And you think it's part of it. The next thing you hear him cry to the Lord. And you see Jesus stretching to hold him and saved him from that situation. And then you begin to think, oh, maybe this thing doesn't last. You see, maybe Peter should have been faster. He would have reached Jesus. No. What did Jesus say to Peter? Why did you doubt? Now, what does that mean? You can start out in faith and in the middle, let doubt come into your heart and you will sink. It doesn't mean God didn't start you out in the first place. It just means you didn't follow him through. Now, what should Peter have done? I'll tell you the truth. Peter, in that situation, walking on the water, should have been praising the Lord Jesus Christ. See, he should have been magnifying the Lord. Now, when you continue magnifying the Lord, speaking, imagine Peter walking on the water and saying, Lord, I thank you. Wow, what an ability you have given to me to walk on water. This is great. Praise God. I celebrate you. It means everything you have been telling us is true, that we can do all things Wow, I'm ready to do some more. Now, he would have been walking on the water. But see, he was walking on the water. I'm sure Peter was quiet. He said, wow, I'm walking on the water. Oh, dear, I'm walking on the water. No, not, not praising the Lord, but being surprised. And then suddenly he saw the wind coming. He said, yeah, oh, you didn't tell me about the wind. And he began to sink. Don't let doubt come into your heart when you have already started out in faith. Continue in faith. And you will end in victory. Praise God. Have a wonderful weekend. Listen, this weekend is going to be your best ever. And I pray for every marriage that is going through any form of issues right now. And I speak that the Prince of Peace will sit over your home. And you will listen to him and receive his instruction and bring his blessing upon your home. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful weekend. Until Monday, bye-bye.